About an hour ago, the state of emergency for gun violence in Rochester was extended yet again. Citing the recent shooting at Franklin High School, the mayor says his order will remain in effect through February 14th. This coming week, city council will vote on whether to approve a plan for additional officers outside some of the schools. The issue of armed officers at schools has been controversial. Isabel Garcia joins us live outside Franklin High School with more details. Isabel. Yes, good evening to both of you and that announcement of the state of emergency. And this is now entering the seventh month that was initially declared back in July of last summer. So this is the seventh time that's been renewed. Now, city council will meet on Thursday this week, which will also have a speak to council session, which will allow anyone in the community, any person to go and address council members on any topic, including this one here. The immediate conversation has really been whether to fund overtime it would require for police officers to be stationed outside of these schools for the remainder of the year. This is the immediate solution. However, city and school leaders are also navigating how to create long-term solutions for student safety. The school district, out of concern, has asked if, you know, we could have some presence. So we're doing the best we can to accommodate them. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's a burden. We're doing this on overtime. Short-term plans of having Rochester police officers stationed at certain schools for arrival and dismissal are in effect. This, a response to a shooting which occurred by the entrance at Franklin High School on January 5th. During last Thursday's city committee meeting on public safety, there were some heated disagreements about approving funding to make this happen. Stationing police outside of a school is kind of like putting a hole, uh, plugging a dam, um, and I don't, I don't know if it, if it will be effective for the amount of money that is being spent. Um, and I want to know what the plan is, um, both for the city and the school district, to, to keep kids safe. Smith explained during that meeting it would cost about $84 per officer per hour due to overtime. RPD remains severely understaffed with about 70 open positions, even with more than 20 officers currently in the academy. I think any of the conversations about whether it's good, whether it's bad, that, that's a conversation that we can have in the future, but the school district asked us to, to assist them. They, their board passed it first. All we're doing is responding to the request that they sent over. The school board president is not in support of bringing back school resource officers. Rochester School Board member James Patterson told me ahead of Tuesday night's board meeting he is hoping to gather insight from students directly. Let's take a poll. Why haven't we taken a poll relative to our students to see exactly that'll speak volumes, not parents, because they're not in the schools, right? Uh, everyday learning. Take the poll from the students, and I'm going to be pushing for that too, or requesting my colleagues, I should say respectfully. And the chief also noted, and he's gone on the record before saying that he is in support of bringing back school resource officers, but it may look different with a new plan, something he's open to have a conversation on, plains clothing officers, things like that. And this, as I mentioned, the school board president does not agree with. And if you are looking to speak to city council this coming Thursday at 630 during that speak to council session, you do need to register ahead of time and you can call the city council uh, clerk's office or you can email in your responses and comments to an email address that will be provided in this article on our website at rochesterfirst.com. For now, though, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Reporting live in Rochester, Isabel Garcia, News 8. Isabel, thank you. That school board meeting that began at 530 is not about security. It is about school equity, student equity. But we will be monitoring and checking on that for any updates later tonight.